Hello friends, are you interested in becoming a certified medical interpreter in the US? Stay tuned because in this video I'm going to discuss the registration process and the specific requirements to get certified by the National Board of Certification for Medical, medical Interpreters and BCMI. Hello, my name is Atok. The purpose of my channel is to help aspiring and current Spanish medical interpreters become professionally and financially successful. As read from the NBCMI website, NBCMI offers the most prestigious credential available in the field of medical interpreters. Interpreting. The CMI Certified Medical Interpreter Credential is an entry-level certification for medical interpreters who meet industry standard educational requirements and pass a written and oral examination. These exams test adequate knowledge of the medical interpreting profession, including ethics, standards of practice, role boundaries, and medical terminology, among other important competences. NBCMI offers the CMI credential in six languages, among these Spanish. Registration. The non-refundable registration fee is $35. Although this fee might be discouraging, it does beat the price for registering for college classes and pursuing a four-year degree that will probably leave you with an $80,000 debt of student loans. After the registration is paid and completed, NBCMI grants candidates one year to provide the necessary documentation and pass both written and oral exams. We encourage you to have your prerequisite documentation ready and upload them during the registration process. You may upload additional documents at a later time, if needed. You can register at the link provided in the description below. Remember, you only have one year to get certified. Otherwise, you will have to pay the registration fee again. CMI prerequisites for Spanish. There are a total of six. First, minimum age. All candidates must submit proof of being at least 18 years old, a copy of a driver's license, birth certificate, or passport, or acceptable proofs of age. Second, general education. All candidates must submit proof of having at least a high school education level, a high school diploma, a GED, or any degree from an institution of higher education or acceptable proofs of general education. Third, profile photo. All candidates must upload a recent professional photo of themselves to their NBCMI profile. Four, medical interpreter education. All candidates must submit proof of training specific to medical interpreting. You must submit either a certificate of completion from an approved medical interpreter training course of at least 40 hours or a transcript from a college or university where you took at least three credit hours of medical interpreting coursework. Fifth, oral proficiency in English. You only have to submit one of the following, a bachelor's, master's, PhD, or any degree from an institution of higher education in the US or other English speaking country, a high school diploma from a high school in the US or from an English speaking country or from an American school abroad, or one of the following tests, which are subject to change. T-O-E-F-L, TOEFL, test of English as a foreign language. You must score a 570 plus on paper, a 230 plus on computer version, or a 90 plus on IBT. A link for a study guide for this test is provided in the description below. Next test, ELPT English language proficiency test. You must score a 950 plus on this test. No study guide is available. Next test ECPE examination for the certificate of proficiency in English. You must get a pass. A link to a study guide is provided in the description below. Next test FCE first certificate in English level 3. You must get an A. No study guide is available. Next test, CAE, Certificate in Advanced English Level 4. You must get a B. A link to a study guide is provided in the description below. CPE, Certificate of Proficiency in English Level 5. You must get a B. No link to a study guide is available. Next test, IELTS. International English Language Testing System. You must get a 7.0. A link to a study guide is provided in the description below. Oral proficiency in Spanish. You must submit one of the following. A bachelor's, master's, PhD, or any degree from an institution 
of higher education where Spanish is spoken. A high school diploma from a high school in a country where Spanish is spoken. 24 plus semester college credit hours of Spanish. Or the ACTFL. Oral exams, American Council on the Teaching of Foreign Languages. Both the OPI or the OPIC versions of this test are acceptable. A link to the tests is provided in the description below. To be granted the CMI Spanish credential, individuals must meet all of the eligibility prerequisites and pass both the written and oral examinations. To pass the written exam, your percentage score must be at least 75%. To pass the Spanish oral exam, your percentage score must be at least 70%. If you are already a certified medical interpreter in the U.S. or know of other medical interpreter certifications, please share your knowledge and experience below. If this video served you in any way, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Remember, there are links available to some of the English proficiency test study guides in the description below. Finally, if you would like to donate to my channel and promote the creation of more helpful content, you can make your contributions to my PayPal account at the link below.